All right. Good morning, everybody. Hey, uh, I'm here with my special guest this morning, Russell. So say hello to the people, Russ. Hi. Say good morning. Morning. It's a happy Good Friday. Say happy Good Friday. Happy good Friday. <laughs> Russell's Russell's uh, he's usually up pretty early, but um, he's he's a, a a little a little sleepy on the north side today, as Papa mm -hmm. would say, right? <laughs> so anyway um listen i just wanted to share with you just a couple minutes first of all it is good friday and uh look they said good morning russ camera she said good morning to you russell Hi, camera. <laughs> um and i just want to i wanted to um just share with you uh, for a minute this morning um as we are man we are here we are in in the weekend and man uh it is we are like uh ready to go and uh and i was just i was thinking about how normally um normally when we, whenever we uh, go into this weekend i mean we have spent hours and hours uh, uh transforming the church into uh, a good friday experience and done tremendous public relations and uh and advertising all over uh all over the town and surrounding towns and just let people know that we're going to have this interactive experience we can get up close and you can touch and taste and feel and smell the sounds and the and the experiences uh, of the last uh, last days of Jesus and and all the way to his resurrection and and uh, and then we move into our, our one big service where we would meet at the high school and and uh, and gather around in a large gathering and drink coffee and have Easter bread and and uh, and break our fast together and all of those experiences that we've grown accustomed to at uh, Cornerstone and how everything is very very different um, uh, different this year and 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 I was thinking about how this year you know we we pull out um, I, I do every year I do uh, uh, a picture book. Uh, of our family and and I've been doing it ever since the year that Russell was born uh, we we uh, uh, chronicle every uh, all the all the photos and experiences that we have and uh, and I think that because every year has its own mark every year has its own uh, its own struggles its own successes its own failures its own highs and lows and victories and and all that and uh, and how and how every year uh, presents itself in a different way, but every year is important because it builds on the year to come. And um, and I was thinking about the the idea of just being marked, and uh, and that every every year has its own its own mark. When you go back and you think about it, you know, I remember the year that I uh, that I got my driver's license. I remember the year that um, that I graduated high school, and then I. Uh, I remember the year that I met Jeanette, and I remember the year that this guy was born, and uh, and there's all those just markers in our in our life, and I think about the fact that we are in Passover, right? For for the uh, for the Judeo Christian uh, community, you know, we're we're uh, we're celebrating um, Easter and the resurrection of Jesus, and today being Good Friday, the day that we commemorate his death on the cross, that he. Uh, that he became the second Adam, or or more accurately translated, the last Adam, and how and how uh, and how Jesus uh, brought back communion. That's why we'll celebrate communion tonight. You know, when we the broken bread and the and the shed blood of Christ, and how Christ brought communion back into um, our circle and uh, and and made it possible. You know, again. And um, and then of course we'll celebrate the resurrection on on Sunday, but in the Jewish community this is uh, Passover. This is the time where they celebrate Passover, the Passover feast. In fact, that's what was happening in Jesus' day. Uh, whenever Jesus rode into town, people were coming from all around the land. Some had walked many many traveled many many miles to come to the holy city to celebrate Passover. And what Passover commemorated was a time when the people of God were marked. It was a mark in time that had a mark on their time. I think a mark for us, Russ, um, during this uh, 2020 pandemic will be the mark of the, of the masks. You know, you see people when they just come back from the grocery store and they have those marks on the sides of their mask where they've uh, had the 
uh, the, the elastic has been pressing up against their skin. And normally we would be embarrassed uh, to go in somewhere with these marks on our face and we would wait for our flesh to, uh, to elasticize and to, and to fill back in. But now we wear those marks as a badge of honor. You know, I'm, I'm doing my due diligence. I'm uh, obeying the rules. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do so that I can keep myself and my family healthy, but I can also keep you healthy. I think it's going to be a mark, you know, and, um, but, but that day at, at Passover, Passover has a mark of a mark. And uh, Russell, do you remember, um, you know, there was all the plagues in Egypt and the last plague was the plague of the death angel. Do you remember what the Bible tells us in Exodus about um, the mark that they were supposed to, to make? Well, yeah. So for the death angel to pass over, it had to have the, they had to slaughter a lamb. And they would take the lamb's blood and put it over the doorpost, or the wood of the doorpost, um, for the angel to know that that family was clean. Right, and so exactly, and uh, and and so when the the death angel saw the blood, the mark over their their doorpost, then the angel would pass over, and that's where they get the term Passover from. Well. Now that Jesus has come and Jesus has uh, been raised from the dead and we can have new life in Jesus Christ, there's a new mark that that is upon us as believers. And that mark is the mark of the Holy Spirit. You see, uh, the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead lives in us. That's what the Bible tells us. Um, Paul admonishes the uh, Ephesian church, and, and he says um, to them in Ephesians chapter 1, I want to read it to you, Ephesians chapter 1 and verse uh, 13 and 14, it says, And you were also, uh, see, and you also were included in Christ when you heard the message of truth, the gospel of your salvation. When you heard that, when you heard the message, uh, you were included. And then it says this, when you believed, when you gave your life to Christ, you were marked. There's a mark that came upon you. There's blood now on your doorpost. There's blood on uh, over, over your entrance of your heart. And it says this, you are marked in him with a seal, the promised Holy Spirit. Verse 14, who is a deposit guaranteeing you, guaranteeing. I like guarantees. Don't you like guarantees? Mm -hmm. I, I don't like to run things by chance. I want to know that I know. The Bible says that the mark of the Holy Spirit guarantees you an inheritance until the redemption of those that God of God's possession to the praise of his glory. Man, we are marked by the Holy Spirit. And because of Jesus Christ and the sacrifice that he made that we will that we will commemorate tonight on at and our Good Friday service at seven o'clock, please tune in for that. And we will commemorate that sacrifice. Jesus sacrifice and his resurrection on the cross made available for us a way when we are under sin's slavery, just the same way that the Israelites were under Egyptian slavery and had no way out. We are under sin's slavery, and because of Christ, it produced a way out for us. Isn't that good news? That's the good news of the gospel. And when we believe that, the Bible says, you are guaranteed an inheritance, and I'm going to seal that promise inside of you with the precious Holy Spirit to lead you, guide you, comfort you, and, and to protect you, to uh, counsel you. And so I, I just want to encourage you today to understand that, that to wear the mark of Christ is not something to be ashamed of, but something to wear proud, to say, you know what? I belong to Jesus. He's the author of my faith, and he's the finisher of my faith. So I pray that you have an amazing day today and that, uh, and that God blesses you in every way. Russ, say, you want us to close out in a quick word of prayer? Okay. Dear Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for this beautiful morning. Thank you for all the people that are watching today. I pray that you would just bless them and help them to have a very productive and wonderful day. And thank you that on this day, you died for our sins and you took the punishment 
that we would never have been able to bear, Lord. And I pray that you would just help us to have a great rest of the day and to celebrate you tonight. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 You want to hit end right there? Sure. All right. Bye.